Well, the first female Arab astronaut to go to space arrived at the International Space Station. Rayana Barnawi, a scientist, became the first Saudi woman to go into space. Barnawi, who is a breast cancer researcher, is accompanied by fellow Saudi Arabian astronaut, fighter, Saudi pilot Ali al Karni, a former NASA astronaut, Peggy Whitson, and U.S. pilot John Schofner. Describing zero gravity as an awesome experience, Barnawi thanked Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the Crown Prince. Hello from outer space. It feels amazing to be viewing Earth from this capsule. Um, we are here feeling microgravity um, thanks to our Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the leaders, King Salman and the visionary Crown Prince, Prince Mohammed bin Salman, for their support of, uh, in this mission. The Falcon 9 and Dragon capsule departed from the Kennedy Space Station in Cape Canaveral, Florida. It transported the crew members of Axiom Mission 2 for a week-long stay at the ISS. The mission is commanded by former NASA astronaut Peggy Whitson. It was a great launch, a great ride. We had a lot of fun on the way up, and uh, we're really excited to get a lot of work done up here. But it's, it's, uh, it's great for me to come back personally. It does feel like home. The mission is Axiom's second private mission in collaboration with NASA and SpaceX. The crew in the mission will later open the hatch to the orbiting space station where they will carry out research and science experiments. SpaceX blasted off the first all-private astronaut team ever launched to the ISS in April last year. The flight was hailed by industry executives and NASA as a milestone in the commercialization of low-Earth orbit. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.